This is Dawson Meadows with the Video Wire, and here's what's out there. The Fort Smith Board of Directors met in a special meeting on Tuesday, August 11th, to determine the future of its 2005B series bond in regard to the underwriting allocations between Stevens Inc. and Raymond James. At stake was $480 million in bond underwriting to meet specific requirements set forth in a consent decree entered against the city of Fort Smith for its violations of the Clean Water Act. At the meeting, Director George Katsavis stated that his vote would now be changed due to an apparent threat made to him from an employee at Raymond James. Now, it's unconfirmed exactly what this threat was, but sources at the video wire do suspect that it had something to do with shaving off his mustache. And look, you don't mess with a man's mustache. <clears throat> More on this story at thecitywire.com. Fayetteville-based startup Junkie Consulting was awarded $50,000 by the U.S. Small Business Administration in a National Growth Accelerator Fund competition. The company plans to use the funds to help launch this fall's 2.7.0 Growth Accelerator competition. Startup Junkie is a startup company helping start up new companies looking to start up. The oh, I, I see what they did there. Very nice. <laughs> An almost 50% decline in Fort Smith area building permit values during July pushed the region into a year-to-date decline. The region could post its first annual decline in permit value since 2012 if building activity does not pick up in the remainder of 2015. It appears that more is being built in Minecraft than in town. Please note that Minecraft isn't real. <clears throat> more on local news at thecitywire.com. This weekend, the River Valley Ovarian Cancer Alliance present their annual fundraiser at the Fort Smith Convention Center. Teal Night in Tahiti is set for Saturday night. Then, starting on September 3rd, the unexpected hits the streets and the buildings of downtown Fort Smith. This mural project is set for September 3rd through the 12th. More on this and a complete schedule of events at thingstodoinfortsmith.com. Don't miss Hell on the Border Arkansas State Bicycle Criterium set for September 13th. The course is located in downtown Fort Smith on historic Garrison Avenue. It is a six-turn, 0.81-mile L-shaped course, wide and fast with a slight uphill finishing straight. The start and finish line will be located near 8th and Garrison. Don't miss this event. More things to do at thingstodoinfortsmith.com. This is Dawson Meadows with The Video Wire, a weekly video collaboration with The City Wire and Things to Do in Fort Smith. It's where local news meets things to do. And fresh off our trip last week from New York City, one would think that getting back to the office was now in play. <laughs> but no, sir. I'm now loading up the stash, the golf clubs, and the beer, heading to a little place called Locust Grove, Arkansas, with my friends, the Mina Boys, to the Topless 100. The, no, no, that's, that's what it, yes, that's what it's called, the Topless 100. No, it, no, it's a race. Yeah, it, it, it's a race, okay. Until next week, stay cool out there, and remember, this stash is for you. It's gonna be real, real good. Ow, ow, ow. Mic check, can you hear me out there? Good.